Hey, I'm Kier, and this is that vlog thing that I'm doing. About right now, there are a whole lot of people who've already seen the new Star Wars movie. I'm not one of them. Uh, in fact, I won't even be seeing it uh, until next week. I've decided to uh, not fight the crowds and go opening weekend and instead see it uh, next week, uh, early in the week, about midweek, uh, up in New York uh, with my father. Because uh, I have vague memories of going and seeing the original Star Wars. Uh, not necessarily opening weekend because I was probably way too young uh, being born in 1975 to uh, have any clear memories of that. But I remember a couple years later when it came back out right before uh, Empire Strikes Back came out, uh, I have a memory of seeing it then. And I remember being a little freaked out by Darth Vader. Uh, I got over that, got over that. And by the time uh, Empire and Return of the Jedi had come and gone, I was a pretty big Star Wars fan. Uh, and when stuff finally came out on home video, uh, it was fantastic to be able to rent and watch those uh, movies anytime I wanted. Uh, all the toys. All of the toys. Well, not all of the toys. I had a Millennium Falcon. I had the really questionable playset that they called a uh, Star Destroyer, uh, which wasn't really that impressive. Uh, the most impressive thing was it had Darth Vader's chamber in it uh, that you could put them in and close it and there was a light that would come on. The the uh, Hoth and the Tatooine play sets, uh, which were basically the same hunk of plastic landscape, uh, except one was tan and one was white and they had different cardboard uh, stand-ups that went in the back. One was a uh, sand crawler, the other was an ATAT. Uh, and those were cardboard, so I'm pretty sure those aren't still around. I know that the uh, bases are still around. I remember seeing them the last time I was up in New York looking for something else in the attic. X-Wing fighter, TIE fighter, bunch of figures, uh, lots and lots of good stuff, and lots and lots of good memories. Uh, Star Wars is one of those formative movies for me. There's a lot in the Jedi Code uh, in just the idea of the Force and the uh, relationship among the characters, that friendship that grew uh, between Luke and Han, and that uh, friendship that was there between uh, Han and Lando, uh, and, and just all of these heroic things, these classically mythic and heroic things, really drew me in. Uh, and it was really something that pointed me in a lot of good directions. Uh, the, the whole idea of there being this all-permeating force, uh, of there being people that would fight for what's right no matter what, uh, when you're young, you don't necessarily see that stuff out in the real world. Uh, and as you get older, you kind of lose uh, the view of that stuff, especially if you watch the news a lot, which uh, I started doing. And, and it really made it tough for a while to uh, believe that there were still really good people out there doing stuff. Uh, going through the uh, early 90s and uh, everything like that. But the, uh, the original Star Wars trilogy is one of those seminal films. It cemented my love for sci-fi without question. It, it did uh, fantastic things to keep me interested in special effects and movie making and, and just started uh, really the modern sci-fi era uh, that we got as uh, the 80s went through, we had all sorts of, you know, Spielberg and Lucas productions, uh, lots of action, lots of, lots of fun. And then the end of my college career, episode one the, the came out. And uh, The Phantom Menace, when I first saw it with a few friends of mine from college, um, we enjoyed it. 
until we were a couple steps away from the uh, from the theater, and then you know that initial uh, bite sunk in about how those trade federation characters and those other characters were really really horrible horrible racial stereotypes and that uh you know those those lightsaber battles were utterly fantastic and wow real jedi we've never seen real fully trained jedi before and that was awesome but that story was kind of not awesome in in a lot of ways uh, and we went back and forth and unfortunately it's played out that there was really more bad than good for us in those movies the effects were pretty spectacular but the story uh had gone too far it had tried to explain too many things that didn't need explaining. We don't need midichlorians in any way, shape, or form to have an appreciation for the Force. And the poor characterization of the secondary characters especially was really bad. And then Episode 2 came out, and then Episode 3 came out, and they just kept getting worse. And... That really, really horribly disappointed me as a Star Wars fan to watch these movies and think this is all we get. Yeah, the effects are utterly fantastic, but the writing, the dialogue, the way the plot is playing out is more convoluted than it needs to be. It's not supported by a lot of other ideas that have been put forward in the past, uh, in the original trilogy, even. A and it was just such a disappointment uh, that, that when the new movies were announced, there was a bit of trepidation on my part. And it wasn't really until the second trailer, uh, the second big trailer, when I started to get excited about this new uh, series of main Star Wars movies. Now, the Rogue One movie I've been excited about since I heard about it, because a, an actual war movie set right before the uh, Episode Four. Yeah, sign me up for that one. I want to see that story. Uh, getting those Death Star plans? Oh, yeah. Continuing on the uh, main storyline after suffering through those prequels, very, very iffy. But it looks like it's going to be great. Uh, I'm sure by now uh, everyone will know whether or not it's great. I know I've got friends uh, who are going out of their way to, uh, to see it and have a lot of fun with it. Uh, and, and it looks like it's going to be good. And I hope it's good because there's nothing I want more than a brand new generation of people to have a similar Star Wars experience to what I had. One that wasn't tainted by uh, overt racist stereotypes, uh, by overly complex plots, and by effects that didn't always serve the story and characters that didn't always play very well. You can complain about the, some of the characters in the original trilogy, like Luke being whiny and, and uh, stuff like that, but it doesn't compare at all to the bad writing that was part of episodes one, two, and three. Uh, again, yes, people got excited about the fantastic effects and the awesome lightsaber battles. But they didn't really get excited about the story that was being told. And I think that's something that really grabbed us all, uh, those of us who saw that original trilogy uh, when it was new, before there was anything else out there uh, quite like it. And I'm hoping that that gets recaptured for a brand new generation who are going to see this Episode 7, The Force Awakens, 
uh, as their first really big Star Wars film. And I hope it does well. I hope it's utterly fantastic. I hope we can put it in the same category as uh, A New Hope and Empire Strikes Back and uh, most of Return of the Jedi. So if you've seen it, let me know down in the comments uh, what you thought of it. And uh, no spoilers, because it's still going to be another few days before I see it. And it's going to be hard enough to uh, not be beaten over the head with big reveals uh, being online. Uh, I'm not terribly worried about it. It's, it's a sci-fi action movie. I think I'll be okay, no matter what I accidentally overhear. Uh, but I'll be seeing it with my father, just like we saw uh, all of the other, uh, the, the original movies. We saw those all together. Uh, so here's hoping that we all have a grand adventure in a galaxy far, far away. Uh, if uh, you like the stuff I talk about, give me a thumbs up down uh, below the video. If uh, you are subscribed, thank you for being subscribed. Uh, if you're not subscribed, hit the subscription button so you can get notified when I put these things out. And if you know anyone else who's interested in the stuff that I talk about, share this or one of my other videos with them and uh, let them get involved in the conversation. I'm Kier. That's it for tonight. Guess I'll see you tomorrow.